Hello everyone, good soon. We are at uh, Kulidan Art Space, Kulidan Kitchen Art Space here. So that's what will be the, the art exhibition from Fish Island Community Art Center. So here you go. Yeah, let, let's go and have a look. See. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, uh, and also part of the reason why I'm here and why you're here because I'm a uh, close friend they came from the punk rock era yeah. <laughs> and then you're here so this is like a, a celebration of friendship and then also at the same time um, you bring something very unique to, to the community here and uh, Komang thinks that uh, we have this pretty much the same background from the trauma of the, the political situation before and then uh, and then also the way you, you, you do stuff with the art in, in Bali, uh, in, in Cambodia and in his uh, village as well, yeah. So, uh, because he involves lots of kids as well. Uh, well, you, uh, you just told me that actually the, all, all the paintings here, not by you, people will think that because it, it looks uh, but similar, yeah, yeah, very look alike, but actually each and every one is uh, by different kids, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, and for him, this is uh, very, uh, like a great opportunity for him because he feels very connected, not just from the political uh, dark background, and also why uh, you're very connected with the kids, which uh, what he's been doing here. Yeah. So maybe um, you can explain before I open the, the, the exhibition, maybe you can explain why um, you've been doing this, and then, so it's not, it doesn't have to be by you, but, uh, you're just the teacher for, for this and why you do this for the uh, fish island yeah, yeah. for the children and for fish island also yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way uh, thank you so much for everyone that uh, coming to the exhibition and the talk and my name is Ketsun I'm from Cambodia and especially our place called Fish Island Community Art Center and we have the Fish Island Community Art Center that's the first thing when I start to open and I see all the kids around the community and especially they don't go to school and when they don't go to school I never go to school like because my family are so poor so I cannot no, afford no formal education no I mm. never go to school so zero I, I study only one two two years three years like this mm. the anna, anna. Anna, anna, yeah, yeah so I my family is so poor so I cannot afford for study <laughs> so after growing up I work in Malaysia as a housemate for eight years and I come back and I try to work around as a waitress to bartender and a restaurant mm. and managing and my own restaurants and everything become a tour guide traveling all the world and I starting to think like I want to share this experience mm. with so all the kids. Uh, so at what, what age you, you started to read? Can you read? I cannot really, I can read but I cannot write properly in Cambodia either. I can write a little bit but not so much. But I can read more than I write. So every day I taught myself. Even on Fish Island I teach English, I teach art, I teach cooking, baking, barista, cocktails. But I teach by all, I download the app, so I teach everything. And I also I teach myself to those kids. Mm. Yeah, so. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Wow. So that's why it's like I wanted to share my experience as you know it's okay like you have to follow your dream you know you 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 see I'm poor I'm Sam you but you see as me as your model you can see me as your you know inspiring someone that you can like I'm poor but I always poor it's not you know if you fight for it you go for it you you stand for yourself one day you will become a great artist or a great chef or a great tour guide you, you can be so you have to work very hard for that so that's why we have the fish island community art center to involve kids and other community to be come together and share not only cambodian people you know everywhere the whole world you know from indonesia whatever you know switzerland england australia so people can come and share the opportunity with other kids too Okay, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's very interesting. So, um, so you you teach the kids in Cambodia in Kampot, yeah? Yes, in Kampot, probably. In Kampot, um, not just uh, painting, also baking. Yeah, we do hospitality skill training as well, and also club music. 
Julian, he music. I don't learn, I don't know anything about music. <laughs> Not even can sing. And um, uh, but uh, most most of them mostly really into painting. Uh, they learn everything. So Fish Islands only starting from about two and a half years. But during the COVID-19, it's very difficult. We study for two three months. We close because government asking us to close because COVID. So back on and off, so it's very hard for them to learn. So it's like, you know, when you start ABC for one month, two months, you stop for three months and then they forget. So you have to start again. So it's, everything's very difficult. So we teach hospitality, we teach English class, we teach um, arts. That's the main course right now in, in our place. So everything you kind of stay in the boat, you know, you, you keep going the same and the same. But it's very impressed. This artwork that you see inside, the maximum of learning of maybe only one year and they never see any art from outside. They never know anything about color. They never understand anything about art drawing because in school, they don't teach them artwork. No? No. So and then they look the, I can't say that it's similar, but it has the same uh, line. Yeah, yeah same line. It, it's still in line, you know? It's a, I thought you, uh, you teach them Okay, this is uh, the way you do art and everything. They, they didn't even have like art background. No, they never have any experience or traveling or see anything. If you want to learn art, you can go to the city in Phnom Penh that you can learn like a art, art from art school and things like that. Especially countryside, it's a very poor community. You have nothing. You just like stay in your community. You never even go out to... How far fish island then go to Phnom Penh? From Camp Park to Phnom Penh is about three hours, but mostly people never travel. It's scared, you know, it's more like you go to school, they come home, help the parent, or go to the rice field, or going to the salt field. So they're also working in the salt field too. Um, maybe I, I should talk yes. with, with him as well uh, first, because you, you told me that uh, this idea to work together with the uh, Cambodian uh, Fish Island people for a project from 2021? 2021. 19. 2021. No, 2021. 2021. And then we'll be able to do Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this idea came from 20, 2021 because I have a friend, Siska. She works for a certificate body like a uh, perfect agriculture or something like that. Yeah. So she also learned in upper shift, uh, scholarship, and then Siska uh, come here with his uh, partner uh, from Swiss and mm. then on that time maybe Siska come to you yeah, before mm. and then they try, uh, they, 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 they discuss with us because we also have the uh, children project here. Yeah, so very it's, similar uh, project with uh, them. Yeah. Similar project and then on that time, okay, uh, we can do something because of COVID, we like uh, not think about that idea again because COVID so cannot travel also. Uh, why I interested because when I when I look the artwork is very different with what uh, uh, the children have <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. in Bali, yeah, yeah, really yeah. different. And also like, like uh, what kind of different? Different is uh, this is more like uh, pop art, see? Uh, pop art, and then from the composition it's little more bold, yeah? more like uh, uh, to the point, and then the color also more. Bold.